So, painting has been done. Me and Sager have worked on the countertops. He forgot some tools the last time he came, so he's coming back. Sink, I'm not gonna call out, Jeremy. I'm not gonna call him out, I'm not gonna call you out, but the sink. It's taking a little longer than we thought, but that's okay. We had to get some extra parts. That should be finished today. We got big carts coming tomorrow. I have to paint like a hundred sheets of flash, you know? Like, I just don't have any anymore. I've, over the years, I've sold them all. So I gotta paint my ass off the next couple of weeks. The window is getting fixed on Friday. Saturday, the neon goes in and the sign up top goes in. While all that's happening, I'll be setting everything up, just making sure the health department approves everything. Other room, the podcast room, uh, still setting that up and getting everything ready there. Shirt, back stock area, all that, it's gotta get set up. So it's still a really busy time. Uh, we're getting closer. It, to me, it feels like I'm not that close. Speaking of which, Omar has to go back to the vet on Friday. Fingers crossed, it's just scar tissue. It's like a little lump down by his wiener, which is where they cut. So we're hoping it's just scar tissue. He has to have an ultrasound again just to see, you know, make sure it's not something else. I'm pretty sure he's he's crazy, so I'm pretty sure it's okay. But that's the quick update. What's going on this morning on Monday, March 7th? So all last week was spent in here just getting shit ready and planning it all, paying for it, going over budget, you know, everything that comes with it. Oh, and then the drop, you know, the drop is also delayed because the world is at war with itself. We just got a lot of moving parts right now, which is fine. You know, it takes moving parts to get somewhere, I guess. <laughs> Money, delays, things just costing out the ass. This sink has been a nightmare and we're still working on it, but it's been a hiccup after hiccup. He's coming back on Saturday. Sager came last week, didn't finish because he forgot tools. He's supposed to be here last night, didn't get here last night. His truck broke down. The glass guys were supposed to come today. They broke the replacement glass on the way here. The neon guy is still coming, the sign guy. They're doing the sign today. So, hello. I, uh, don't know what day is it. So much is happening. Uh, the shop, obviously still in construction. The neon guys are on their way. What fucking day is it? It's Saturday. It's Saturday night. It's around 5, 6 o'clock, I think. 5, 5.30. So the neon dudes came yesterday. But they forgot the top and the bottom pieces. This whole project, and this is just what it is. It's like teaching me to, like, only give a fuck about what I can give a fuck about, what I can control. Um, but like everything, there's been like a mishap, at least one, with almost everything. So I'm just rolling with the punches. It takes as long as it takes. I want to be open by April 1st, but if I don't make it that open by then, then I don't. But I'm pretty sure I will. It'll probably be fine. Anyway, the neon guys, they're on their way back to get those other two pieces put on. Um, I'm in the process of hanging the art that I do have. I still have a lot of wall space. Um, the sign is up. It looks dope outside. So it's just chipping away, working. Not currently booking any appointments. I have a drop that is coming in on Monday. Yeah, and then so Omar had to have another vet appointment because he got this like lump. And so they were worried that it would be a hernia, another growth like taking place of the growth we removed. And they just wanted to check it out. He's good. It's just, uh, it's not a hematoma. I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically if you've ever skateboarded or done any type of activity where you've taken a bunch of falls, swollen area. We used to call it swellbo, your elbow get all huge. Maybe I'll put a picture of one right there. That's basically what he's got. And it's just gotta be compressed. A warm compress. Basically, he's just playing too hard after a big surgery. It's impossible to control. Today, they had an award at Eldora 
for Ron and Dee and Alex went. That was cool. I didn't get to go. I was busy doing stuff here. It's a constant reminder, you know, living in their house now. And this is our future. And this is the investment into our future. And we have the clothing company. Past few years, I've traveled around and tattooed. And I'll still travel some, but this is going to be home base. I'm sure it's going to get busy over here. So I'll probably end up hiring a tattooer two or who who knows i mean i don't really know what the future is going to hold so uh we're going to see you know every time i try to call it it goes another way so i'm just not going to call it i'm building this and you know what they say about building it you know what they say turned on the heat is on i don't know what keeps happening today is monday lots of business to handle but most of all the fucking drop is finally here So here we are in uh, motherfucking the shop. It's snowing. You know why it's snowing? Because it's Thursday. You know why it's snowing on a Thursday? Because Sager. Still at it, bro. We're ordering frames every fucking day. Getting new artwork up. So I went with the white tool chest because I really like how super clean that looks. Powder coated, so this should be pretty easy to clean up. And uh, it just gives you more of an ice cream shop vibe. I don't know. But we got a second one for our second artist who we don't know who it's going to be yet. I got a third one for here so we can have a third station. There you go. <laughs> Sager in the shithole. Knee deep in the shit. New throne. No throne. And then the king. The thrones. It's got a lot of green on. And in the green room too. It is uh St. Patrick's Day. Oh yeah, that's right. It's another early morning. A late night with Sager. Home for like four hours. And I gotta go finish the toilet. The next day. Sager's been in his bathroom for twelve hours. <laughs> I slept here. This is where we left him last night. This is where we found this morning. It is uh it is not. All right, Sager just left, and I am staining the countertops. This one is stained, this one is not. Yep, Tuesday, March 22nd, 322. 22. All right, yesterday we went and picked up Mr. Primetime himself. David Harwood uh, from Charlotte, North Carolina, which those of you who know, I lived in Charlotte for a long time. We know a lot of the same people, um, but I hired him to come out and paint the glass on the front door. We were originally going to do the front windows too, but uh, with the neon, we're not going to do that. And then uh, we're going to do some more stuff on the inside, lace up the shop. So uh, that's what he's here for the next few days doing that. Me and Sega are buttoning up other stuff we have a plumbing fiasco uh basically this building's just old shorten it up the building's old just needs an overhaul so we're overhauling it friday we're gonna tear up these bathrooms we're redoing those completely just because we need a, we need nice bathrooms you know honestly i'm not gonna stress myself out getting to an opening date it'll just I'm, i'll open when i when i open speaking of which we also have the drop is here it's shipped out to friends and family so what is left is here it's going out to the public be on Thursday at 10 a.m. I do not know when this vlog is going to go up. I'm going to hope Tuesday night, maybe Wednesday. But uh, Thursday, 2.24, the drop happens. The drizop. The dr 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 drizop. Yeah, so we've been working. We've been doing things, you know what I mean? We're out here getting it ready. We got the shop. I'm going to have some friends come out, you know, guest artists, uh, whatever. You know, we'll see where it goes. Kind of this is how you have to do life. Seeing where it all goes. And we're gonna keep moving forward and 
all the fucking quotes you can think of that make you get up in the morning. It's like re I've realigned myself with how much I love tattooing and the subculture that used to be tattooing. It's not really the same anymore. Um, it's gotten pretty soft, but that's why you can build your own thing and you know, you can do it kind of your way. So that's what I intend to do. Yeah, I'm stoked. It's been a lot of hard work. We're getting closer by the day. Mission is getting closer and closer to being accomplished. <laughs> just try and start editing before Dave gets up in here and then I'm gonna work on the shop a little bit and I'm gonna edit some more get the drop ready keep on keeping on on this motherfucking project this is what <laughs> this is what we're doing I'm sorry it's been so long for a vlog I, there's no way there's no way to juggle all this stuff and all the family stuff just constant constant it's been crazy podcast soon dirty earns looking into flights he's home from his US tour a lot to discuss a lot to catch up on soon I swear. Appreciate you guys and gals. Peace.